Hi guys, Gunjan here and welcome back to my legendary playthrough of Skyrim on the Xbox 360. We're still in Resolved, uh, we're still on, on the Revealing the Unseen mission um, to reach a thing called the Ocolory. So let's get it done. Um, now, like I said on the last episode, I really can't believe we've made it to 300 episodes now. Uh, it kind of blows my mind when you think about it. Hello. But, uh, you know, it's all thanks to you guys. I'm really, you know, thankful for all the support, the comments, the, the likes, everything that this channel has received. Um, so it's only been a year, just over a year, that I've actually been uploading to YouTube. And I'll be honest, I've been making it up as I've been going along most of the time. Uh, but I seem to have, you know, got a nice little community of fans going. And, you know, I'm really grateful for that. The kind of interactions that I've had in the comments section has just been amazing. And, you know, I'd really just like to say again, thank you to each and every one of you for making this experience so so much fun for me, more than anything else. Uh, for now, though, let's get back to the job at hand, which is killing Falmer and getting out of this place. Because this dungeon is huge. There's no end to it. Oh, there's another researcher. So, oops, he didn't do too well. Is that it really? Okay, fair enough. Onwards we go. As you can see as well, I'm using uh, candlelight because uh, I found my pretty much blind, so it doesn't really matter. The big glowing orb above my head. I'm also using the bound bow just to, just because we are doing the major guild, um, and also just to make things a little more interesting because uh, my dragon bone bow seems to pretty much kick everyone's ass. So, you know, at least this way, I'm kind of handicapping myself a little bit. Whoops. Like with my archery. <laughs> That's kind of a big handicap as well. Uh, just charisakes, not bothered about those. So, I'm going to try and pick up the pace just a little bit as well, because I think I'm taking a bit too long with this dungeon. Hello. Anybody home? Okay, definitely want to go in there. But first, let's kill this guy. Oh man. Epic fail. Okay, let's go get that door open. No, my luck is probably going to be another master lock, but hopefully it won't be. Oh man, it is. Uh, so bear with me one second. Phew, so I'd never get that open. Sweet. Oh, myself with a room key. So I guess if you had telekinesis, um, you could stand there and just kind of zap it, zap this table, but I didn't, so I had to do the hard way. What's he got there? The Lunar Locker. What's that? Must be a skill book, but unfortunately it's one we've already got. Okay, so let's press on. There's that farm that's there, so we're going in here, I guess. Ooh, anybody home? Another expert lock. Ooh, this one. Whoa. Back up. And die. Which part die do you not get? That's his runaway. <laughs> That's him dealt with. Let's see what we got. Anything? Not really? No loot whatsoever. One helmet. Yippee. Ah, 
Okay, this room has redeemed itself with that ruby. <laughs> Sun. Oh, hello. <laughs> nice. <laughs> is he dead though? Is he paralyzed? I'll go check him out. And goodbye. <laughs> nice one. Anyone else? That is lining up with all your friends. Okay, there's nothing down there. I guess we're going around that way. Ooh, like this. Must have been lock picking is probably the easiest skill to level up because every time you break a, a pick, you actually level up quite a lot, to be honest. I mean, we reset it recently and we're already coming up to level 29 again. So it's definitely one of those that you could keep, keep sort of spamming in terms of uh, leveling up. It's up here. Okay, I guess that's where we're going. So let's just check these bodies first of all. Ears, nice. Here's something. Oop, and it's got a nice trap as well. Definitely hear something in there. What is that Reaper? You stupid Reaper, because you're standing there taking it. Bye. Hope it was worth it. Bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so that, that was definitely worth it. <clears throat> and now we need to press on, so up here, I guess. See what happens. Uh oh. Okay, we've got another dead dude. There's a flare drum. Okay. Oh. I see you, buddy. You don't see me. You know, got a light on my head. <laughs> Who else is up there? Sweet, that was easy enough. So yeah, the bamboo can definitely hold its own against Falma, which is good, because I wasn't sure if it was going to be able to. Uh, so obviously my dragon bone bow has been, um, yeah, it's been enhanced and everything, so it's doing about 380 something damage now which is really good and that's without the fortified marksman potions whereas the burn bow from what I understand reading about it is um, it's basically a daedric bow a basic daedric bow so you know damage output would be about 80 something now with a hundred in archery which I've got so you know I'm definitely a disadvantage it takes a lot more arrows to bring things down but at the same time it also makes it a lot more interesting <laughs> oh man fail Fail. There we go. <sighs> you think you're gonna worry about with um, bound weapons? You never know when you're gonna run out. <laughs> so there's no way of telling, really. It'd be nice if there's like a little bar or meter. <laughs> awesome. 
Oh, hang on, there's still one more. Hey, buddy. Bye. <laughs> and just on cue, it ran out. So, the problem with the bound weapons is they do. Ooh, hello. Focusing crystal. It's kind of broken, but it looks interesting. So, we'll take it. Not sure that does yet. You passed. How about you? Thank you. What's that all of them? Oh, there's one more out there. Yeah, there is. Okay, so we've got a door over there, door over there, and a big long corridor over there. Interesting. So let's try down here first of all. Another researcher. They're all over the place. So they don't actually live long enough to get any research done. <laughs> um, let's have a look at the map. Okay, <coughs> I think that's where we actually need to go. So let's check out the other two doors first. Starting with door number one. Okay, awesome. Let's see what's in here. And we'll take it. <coughs> what's this? Moonstone again? So why not? Oops. What is wrong with me today? Um, where's my pickaxe gone? There it is. That's that done. And uh, where else was there? Up there, I think. Let me just check it just to make sure. Ooh, we like chess. So look, sweet ebony ore, nice one. How did they get salmon all the way out here? <laughs> anyway. Okay, this looks like this is the way we're supposed to go. So, let's quickly go check. Which one was it? That's how we came in. So, I guess down here. hall or something. Okay, dead farm is never a good sign. Kill these, that's my question. <laughs> Guess we're about to find out. Oh, that would be him then. <laughs> that seems pretty stupid though. Okay, maybe it wasn't. Sorry, take that back, sorry. <laughs> that was close. I think he was about to use a steam attack on me. So what do we have in here? 
hand. Just looks like a load of pieces of dwarven metal to be honest. Nothing too exciting. Nothing that exciting at all. Oh. Observation key, interesting. Iron makes a fear, whatever. That was interesting. Uh, we've got a key for an observation, whatever that is. Daedric arrows, very nice. I'll take those definitely. Thank you for your contributions. <laughs> and that's pretty much it for this episode, I think. Uh, actually, no, let's press on a little bit further. I think we're enough time, at least to make it back to where we were. Alright guys, so I'm going to leave it here, um, coming up on the next episode we're finally going to finish this um, this quest for the Mages Guild, revealing the unseen, and I hope you'll join me for it. For now though guys, as always, thanks for watching, take care, and peace! <laughs>